Oras na, mga kanation. Oras na naman ng kainan. And tonight's special, Pinoy ceviche. Masikat sa atin sa tawag na kinilaw. Akalain mo bang right here in the heart of San Francisco, there's a place that serves great kinilaws. Let's see where. This little red building in the heart of San Francisco is home to hip-hop and fine Filipino cuisine. Polang is a stylish resto by day and a trendy hip-hop dance spot by night. That's why the name Polang, a Balinese term which means an interplay of dualities. Pero kahit maraming pagkain mula Southeast Asia ang inihahain dito, patok pa rin ang lasang Pinoy. Lalo na kung kinilaw na ang pinag-uusapan. Now, here's Executive Chef Tim Luim in the raw. Today, we're going to share with you the recipe for our Hawaiian butterfish walu kinilaw. So today, we picked Hawaiian butterfish walu because of its nice butteriness and an oily texture that will go well with this kinilaw. Now, we'll slice this up into nice cubes to marinate. The marination, what it does traditionally is kind of kill the bacteria because the fishermen's catch out of the sea, they usually want to marinate it with something acidic and that sterilizes the seafood or the fish, make it ready for consumption. Today we're going to use the calamansi, which is a citrus native to the Philippines, as well as some coconut vinegar, which is also commonly found around the Philippines. We're going to add a little bit of salt, which is going to help the cooking process. Let's get some nice clean cut on the shallots. Next we're going to add some Filipino silly peppers. One quick stir so that the flavors kind of seep into the fish. At this point, now the fish has been cooking for about eight minutes or so. We're gonna add some coconut milk to finish it off. So we have a banana leaf down on the plate to give some color contrast to the fish. We don't want too much of the juice on the plate. We have some tomatoes that are in season right now that will go great. It's a nice and sweet along with the acidity of the kinilau. Last, we'll add some edible micro orchids. It has a nice watermelony taste and a nice touch uh, for the summer. All right, so there you have it, the Hawaiian butterfish kinilau here at Polang. Enjoy. Desi is the owner of Falling Lounge, and first of all, Desi, where did you get the calamansi? We buy the calamansi from a little old lady in San Jose. You drive one hour to get calamansi to cook in your restaurant. That's the only way to get a lot of calamansi in bulk. <laughs> in bulk, of course, that's important. I've been looking around, it's hard to find stuff nearby, but I guess you have your source. Yeah. All right. Um, Kinilao is... is is Hawaiian in your, on your menu, but it really is a Filipino dish. Yeah, we describe it as a Filipino ceviche because mm -hmm. most people aren't familiar with what kinalao is. Mm -hmm. So we like to present it in terms that people might understand. People are familiar with ceviche with Latin food. Yeah. Do you have any resistance from people who, uh, I guess, are a little queasy? I mean, you're used to the sashimi, you're used to the sushi, you're used to the ceviche. But when they see something like this, they'll be like, it's a little different. Oh, no. I mean, we get a lot of adventurous mm -hmm. diners, and people mm -hmm. in San Francisco are always open to new things. Great. How do the Pinoy dishes match up with the other dishes on your menu? Because I know you have Burmese, Thai, Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Well, what we like to do is present um, a spread of uh, food from Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Filipino food happens to be a third of it, and it kind of helps tie everything together when you see food in a regional context. Nice. And, and I like how each of the dishes have their ingredients from the local places where they come from. Like, you know, for your Thai dishes, you get real Thai ingredients mm -hmm. and, and things like that. What do Americans order as a side? Because, you know, if, if you were in the Philippines, you had a restaurant like this, people would have rice as their, as their, as their side or uh -huh. as their carb or their starch. Mm -hmm. Well, the, some people do order rice, but a lot of Americans are on a low-carb diet right now, so they don't order a lot of rice. Especially when you're looking at something like this. What is this? this that is, is our uh, poached bone marrow. Nice. And I like the way you present it. I mean, it. It's really an art how you guys sort of present the food because, mm -hmm. you know, People eat matters. with their eyes. Yeah. And then going down the line here, this uh, looks like some sort of... That is our uh, buluk lak. It's our shaking beef, and that's from Vietnam. Say that again? Buluk lak. It's not bulak lak, is it? No, no. I used to pronounce it that way, too, okay. when we first introduced gotcha. it. Gotcha. All right. And then moving over to the side. And that's our take of American bufflings, but it's actually adobo mm -hmm. with the sweet adobo glaze. Oh, and so you veer away from the regular ranch sauce that most... People yeah. Are used to. Okay. We look like we have. It looks like we have some kind of dumpling here. Yep. That's exactly right. That's uh, Buddhist treasures. Mm -hmm. And Buddhist treasures. 
Nice. And this one is uh, some sort That's of filo. That's our uh, Madras samosas. It's a Burmese samosa. With the dipping sauce uh -huh. of what? Mango chutney. Nice. And finally... That is our uh, Szechuan lettuce cups. All right. So you pretty much span the whole continent, basically, yeah. with your menu. And, and how does the Kinilao stack up against everyone? That is one of our best sellers. Nice. It used to be on our secret menu, and we only used to have it on um, special events, but right. people kept asking for it. Well, you know, we have our uh, tasting committee here, uh, our in-house tasting committee, who are the judges of how, you know, how good the food is mm -hmm. when our guests come, and so we're going to call them in right now. All right. Judge <laughs> and Carmina. And Yay. I'm going to sample the We're not only the called Kinilaw. tasting committee, we're called PG, Patay Goods. Patay Goods. <laughs> <laughs> PG for short. Okay. I like how you have the, um, mm. the green... Uh, we have to color coordinate. Environment friendly <laughs> chopsticks. I know. Please pass the chopsticks. Okay. Have you guys eaten at the uh, polling lounge? I no, will definitely yeah. soon, after I've seen Desi and how good looking he is. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, if, uh, <laughs> if you're in the area and you're, oh, may isa pa dito, natin. what is this? That Your is take the, on french fries. That's the sweet potato fries or camote fries mm. with banana ketchup. Mm -hmm. How many percent of your, how much percent of your menu is Filipino? Would it's you say? one third. One third Pinoy. Mm -hmm, but 100 percent Pinoy owned. Oh, that's, that's great. Well, guys, if you are in the area, you know where to go if you're looking for this type of food. So, mm. ang sarap sarap na naman, no? Jaja. So, brother, ang masarap sarap ang episode natin ngayon at ako kahit na tostado ako, eh masarap ko ng hilaw, hindi ba Amerikanong hilaw? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tisoy naman, tisoy daw. daw. <laughs> Anyways, ikaw, buntis. Pwede oh ko, kain ka na kain dyan. Alam nyo, favorite ko talaga yung kinilaw, pero hindi ako makakain ngayon. Pero pag ako, bumalik ang powers ko, magkikinilaw, kain mm. contest tayo, talo ko kayong dalawa. Feeling mo? Okay. <laughs> o sige, kain lang kayong dalawa dyan. Well, sa inyong lahat, sana nasarapan kayo dito sa show namin. Kaya kita-kits ulit sa susunod na linggo. Dito pa rin sa nag-iisang bayan ng mga Pinoy sa telebisyon, ang... Adobo Nation! Adobo Nation!